Bosnia-Herzegovina was one of the six constituent republics in the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. The multi-ethnic, multi-fate Yugoslavia was united under Josef Broz Tito under the motto Brotherhood and Unity. After Tito's death and the fall of communism, political parties sought to gain power through stirring up nationalism, leading to the breakup of Yugoslavia. Before the war there were three main ethnic groups living in Bosnia. Bosnian Croats, Roman Catholic, Bosniaks, Muslims, and Bosnian Serbs, Christian Orthodox. After Slovenia and Croatia declared their independence in June 1991, opinion in Bosnia was divided. Most Bosnians wanted to be part of an independent, multi-ethnic country, whilst some Bosnian Serbs wanted to remain part of a Serb-dominated Yugoslavia. The day after the European community recognized the independent state of Bosnia-Herzegovina, war broke out. Bosnian Serbs politicians declared their own independent state, Republika Srpska. Their goal was to join with Serbia to become part of a greater Serbia, one land for all Serb people. In order to achieve their goal, Bosnian Serb forces forced their non-Serbs neighbours out of their homes. They did this through a brutal campaign of persecution, concentration camps, torture, mass murder and sexual violence on an unprecedented scale, so-called ethnic cleansing. Over two million people were displaced from their homes and mass murders began as early as 1992. Under pressure to act, the UN designated the province of Srebrenica as a UN safe zone. Over 40,000 mostly Bosnian Muslim refugees fled to Srebrenica to seek refuge. On 11th of July 1995, General Ratko Mladic and his Bosnian Serb forces entered the safe zone of Srebrenica. The UN Dutch peacekeeping troops abandoned their posts and allowed the Bosnian Serb army to enter the UN base. Men and women were forcibly separated. The women and girls were transported to the free territory controlled by the Bosnian army. Many were sexually assaulted during this process. Men and boys were taken to execution sites and brutally murdered. However, many of them did not go to the UN base. Instead, they fled through the woods, trying to walk the 70 kilometers to the free territory controlled by the Bosnian army. Many of the fleeing men were persuaded to surrender with promises that they would be treated according to international law. Instead, they were taken to execution sites and murdered. After genocide came denial. Bosnian Serbs tried to deny the genocide by reburying the victims in other locations. The process of finding and identifying the victims has been challenging and painful. Over 20 years later, many survivors are still waiting to find the remains of their loved ones. Bosnia is now divided into two political entities. One of them, Republika Srpska, denies that Srebrenica was a genocide despite the fact that two international courts have ruled it as such. This is especially painful for the survivors of the genocide, some of whom have returned to Srebrenica. The Remembering Srebrenica charity and Stage 3 company believe that the best way to challenge denial is to speak up and break the silence.